What is up, hi, this is Noli here, and welcome to another Payday 2 video. Today, we are taking a look at the Artillery Barrage achievement, and I'm going to be walking you guys through how I unlocked it. And as always with these DLCs, I like to pick out the hardest achievement. Last time it was Shotgun 101, and do a quick tutorial on how I unlocked it. Shotgun 101 was truly difficult. Artillery Barrage is just a little bit tedious and isn't going to come naturally. Just to walk you quickly through the uh, description of this achievement, all you have to do is take out th 25 guards with the GL40 uh, grenade launcher, but there is one twist to this, you have to take them out from a 40 meter distance. And what I'm doing right now in the video, as you'll see with my Theoscope on any sniper rifle, in this case it's Thanatos, I'm checking out exactly what 40 meters looks like in game. Preferably do this on the heist you're going to uh, try and unlock the achievement on. For me, Jewelry Store was just the most convenient, it's the closest one to its vantage point. Just bear in mind, vantage point heists are some of the best to get your 40 meter distance, and uh, the grenade launch is actually relatively accurate if you're shooting from above as, a as opposed to on the level. But another heist that you might want to try this out on is uh, Firestarter Day 1, has very long sight lines, and you can also get some high ground in that one. So I've worked out the positions on the roof where I can hit from 40 meters and on the whole it's straight down the road, uh, but bear in mind if you press Q you can really help yourself out over distances by resetting your iron sight to a point which is around about correct over longer distances. You'll see me setting up right on top of where I know my easiest shots are going to come, as I said straight down the road into where the ice cream stall is. Um, and into some of those corridors and they're easy pickups once I've worked out that range is enough. Just so you're aware you don't actually have to complete the mission uh, the credit goes straight in on kill so if you don't want to set up on the roof with like an ammo bag as I do um, you can just as easily reset the mission restart all over again and just do wave one because that's mainly when you get your best chance of getting your 40 meter radius shots. So that's it as far as the achievement is concerned, not too difficult, just remember to plan it out. Uh, as I said, it's not the sort of thing that's going to come naturally, the GL40 doesn't actually lend itself to long ranges. Uh, another type of enemy you can actually pick off with it is snipers. On the whole you can have a 40 meter distance on snipers and it really isn't that bad over range uh, if you just have your wits about you. And uh, as I said, I've actually been quite used to using grenade launchers in other games and the traje trajectory is not too different in Payday. So that's it for Artillery Barrage, as I said, not too difficult at all, it just takes a little longer than you'd like it to, but what it does unlock is pretty awesome, and one of the main reasons I'm actually doing this tutorial and unlocking this achievement is because I need the material it gives, the bowing material. Alongside that it gives the Muerta pattern, I believe it's called, the wooden stock for the Gecko rifle, and I think it's one of the two achieve uh, the uh, attachments for the GL40. I'm not a huge fan of them. They just lower concealment as far as I'm aware. But as I said, you really want to pick this up mainly for the material and pattern if you're a mask designer like I am. And there will be a mask of the day coming soon featuring it. Just finally, before I close off this video, seeing as how it is a relatively short one, let's take a look at the brand new achievements added or at least teased as far as the Hotline Miami DLC is concerned, which is out on the 30th of this month. Do you like hurting other people, it says? Well, like has a 0 out of 30 counter, and we already know that Hotline the Hotline Miami update is going to contain a brand new heist. So what could this 0 out of 30 mean on the heist? I'm not sure entirely. Uh, as ever, they don't really give you many clues. It's just more of an Easter egg telling you there will be 6 brand new achievements on the eve of this DL or update, I should say, not actually a DLC. Thanks a lot for watching this little achievement tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you'll get out there and pick up your awesome materials and attachments. See you all in the next one.